Hey everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you. This time I'm going to be talking about how to fix just about any computer problem you could ever have. I know that's a huge promise, but we're going to try our best to cover everything here. There are many different problems that you could possibly have with many different solutions for each one of them. It's impossible to cover every possible situation, but there are many things that are very similar and you're going to find that we might have your issue covered in here and it's going to be very close to it, if not exactly. And before you ask how to do any one of these things specifically that I mentioned in the video, I've got tons of videos. If you go to my main channel page and do a search, you'll find it in there most likely, or just browse under the computer repair category because I've categorized each one of my videos as per what type of video it is. If it's a computer repair or just an educational thing or whatever it is. So there's four main areas that I'm going to be covering in this video. One is if the computer still works, but it's having issues. Two is if the computer won't show anything on the screen, but it appears to have power. Three is if the computer tries booting, but it has some kind of an error message. And four, if the computer just appears dead, there's no lights, no sounds, it's completely dead in the water. So let's jump in. So first, if the computer still works, but you're having some problems, the first thing to do is reboot. Rebooting fixes almost everything every single time. It's absolutely mind boggling how many times somebody calls me or emails me with an issue. I ask them if they rebooted. They say no, they reboot and the issue solved. So reboot first. You can try is booting the computer into safe mode. And if you're not sure how to do that, I'm not going into the details, like I said, and how to do each thing in this particular video. So if you're not sure how to boot the computer in safe mode, depending on which operating system you have, go and check out my videos under the computer repair category on my channel page. If you're having problems and you notice that it's only specific to that one program, then you may need to just repair that program or reinstall it or uninstall it and install it again. Possibly even that program means internet. So you may be just having a problem with your internet and that's not really a computer problem, that's a network problem. This video we're talking about computer problems, but if the problem is you can't get on the network but your other computers work, it's only this computer. So rebooting and all the things we're covering in this video may help you but if you're having a problem with the internet then you'll have to check your modem router switch the cables that go to that all those things reboot everything not just your computer which we talked about in the first point but reboot your modem router switch unplug all the cables plug them all back in again you may find that that's going to help the fourth thing is testing your hard drive and again if you're not sure how to do that check out my videos but the hard drive might be dying and if you can prove that it's dying and it shows that it's got errors then it may be repairable or you may have to just replace that hard drive the fifth thing is your memory you might have some problems with the memory and that starts throwing all kinds of errors so you could test that out by if you have more than one memory stick just take one out at a time, see how it is, or just have one plugged in and leave the rest of them out and see if it works. It'll work a lot slower at that time, but at least you can see if it still works. And then you can do a memory test as well and find out if there's a problem with any of the memory and which memory module it is. Finally, number six, if your computer is just in that bad a shape that you're having all kinds of issues, even though it still boots up, turns on, you can get in there and do stuff, but you're having too many issues or none of these things work just reinstall windows our second category here is if the computer appears to turn on but there's just nothing on the screen you might want to check the brightness level of your screen trust me something could have changed that including if it's in a public area i've been party to some prank as well that we just reduce the brightness level of someone's monitor so low that it, they couldn't see anything and if you look close enough you can actually see a little ghost image or something it is very faint but you can actually see something so somebody might be playing with you or maybe windows screwed up 
who knows what it is maybe it's a virus but check the brightness level if you got a laptop like most people seem to have then maybe it's the screen on the laptop so before wasting money on replacing the screen and finding out that wasn't it if you have another monitor sitting around in the house or if you're at work borrow someone else's monitor or a neighbor friend whatever and plug that in see if that works if the external monitor works then you know it's just the screen on your laptop that needs to be replaced but if the external monitor doesn't work still then you know it's not anything to do with the screen and you're having more of an issue with the computer itself with the hard drive but most likely the motherboard if it's a desktop computer and the monitor's not working same thing sort of you can check the brightness level turn it off and on try a different power outlet uh, make sure the plug is plugged in really good and tight and if that all doesn't work then just try another monitor before you go out and buy one the third category of issues is if your computer tries turning on but it's got some kind of error message the first thing to do is you might want to test the hard drive you can do that using a USB that's bootable or pull the hard drive out of the computer and hook it up with a special USB cable to another computer and you can test it there if you see that the hard drive is bad then you know you just got to replace it and possibly reinstall Windows the second thing is with memories something like what we talked about before you can try with one memory module at a time and see if that works uh, because the computer it may not be booting you may have some trouble using a bootable USB but you can try that and see if you can test the memory that way or just take the memory modules out one at a time or just leave one in at a time and see if it works and even try it in different slots because it may not be the memory module itself that's bad but it may be the slot that it's in that's bad Again, you can also try booting the computer in safe mode because it may be some kind of software service that's running in the background that's giving you issues. And then you would have to start narrowing that down and find out which specific service or application that runs in the background that's causing that issue. Finally, you may have to just repair Windows or reinstall it. For our last category, the computer is just dead. There's no lights, no sounds, there's just no life to it at all whatsoever. The first thing is trying a different power outlet. I recently had a client that the computer wouldn't boot up at all, there was just no power, and it was plugged into a UPS that the one side is for battery and surge protection where the other one is just surge. and the the side that had battery was actually dead and not working so once we moved it from there to the surge protection only side the computer booted up just fine so you may want to try a different outlet or just plug it straight into the wall and see if that works I also had another case where it was actually the power cord itself even though I've never had in almost 20 years an issue like that before there was only one where it was the actual power cord for a desktop computer. Most of the time you'll find with laptops because they have the power converter built into it, it's like a power supply. The computer desktops have power supplies that are separate to be replaced. So just the power cord is just a cord and you may not think that's an issue, but it is possible that that could be causing the issue why you have no power. Some of them even have a power switch on the back of the power supply, so you may want to flick that on. The laptops are very simple. It should work with or without the power cord unless the battery is completely dead. You didn't realize that it drained because the power cord or power adapter was dead and not charging it. And now that that's not working and the battery's dead, you didn't know what's going on. So it may be that you just need to buy another power adapter. The third thing is replacing the power supply. So again, with the laptop, that power cord is the power supply. So replacing that will fix that issue. With the desktop computer, the power cord is just a cord that conducts the power from the wall to the power supply. So the power supply itself is in the desktop computer and that would have to be replaced in that case. Failing all of that, you may have an issue with the motherboard and that generally just 
makes it not worth fixing. If it's a desktop computer, generally I would say it's not worth it. You just need to get a new computer. If it's a laptop computer and it's a good one and worth it, you may find that it's worth repairing the motherboard on the laptop. So I hope whatever issue you might be facing is covered within this video. And if it is and you found this helpful, please do give it a thumbs up. Even better, give it a super thanks. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.